It's good to see everyone here today. And um, I want to move on from where we were last year. Uh, I think uh, many of you had the opportunity to uh, see the study that we published last year, which was a result of what we did in 2008 when we had the, uh, the summit, the Transportation Logistics Summit. And so um, as we've moved on, I want to talk today about what's happened in a year's time. Um, one year ago at the 2009 NorCal member meeting, we released the, the results of that box standardization study. We identified a path to standardization. You all know that uh, this is a subject that Steve said for 50 years. Everyone has said it was impossible that we could ever get together. But today I want to be able to show you that we are moving in that direction. We are uh, making real progress. The key was adopting the pallet on, as the standard on which to base the measurements of standardization. 40 inches on one side and of the pallet and 48 inches on the other side of the pallet. All other box uh, dimensions fit within those two measurements. We also identified the overall height of the pallet to be about 92 inches. So what, what's new on this subject today? The, the most important trend is moving away from the 44-inch box to the 40-inch box by test packing. Um, you might ask, um, why am I picking on the 44-inch box so much? What, and the 44-inch box has been the mainstay of our shipping for many years. As stated earlier, last year 22% of boxes shipped from California were 44-inch boxes. Today, that number has dropped to 14% of boxes shipped and dropping. And I have heard just in recent days that a number of major growers are in the process of switching away from the 44-inch box to the 40-inch box. Test packing has demonstrated that 90% of the time, the 40-inch box packs as much or more stems than the 44-inch box. So if we look at this, can anyone tell me which box is bigger? Okay, well, the, the bigger box is this one, the, the traditional 44-inch box, by one-tenth of a cube. Now, we'll talk about that in a minute. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it, it adds up. But this box is 2.96 cubes. And by virtue of the fact, I think, that it's a little bit deeper than the 6-inch box, of course, just fits uh, our flowers better, generally, from California. What we're finding is 90% of the time, the boxes, if you test pack these two boxes with whatever product that you grow, you're going to find that both boxes pack it equally 90% of the time, or maybe even a little better in this 8-inch deep box. So let's move along and uh, let's talk about the freight savings by shipping standardized boxes. As we discussed earlier, more uniform boxes created by standardization cost less than time and wages to load outgoing train. Those are the first two savings that, that we see is the time and the wages that it costs to process trailers. But let's look at the cost of underutilized space on a trailer. For simplicity, let's look at the cost savings of a truckload of 44 by 20 by 6 boxes palletized and a truckload of 40 by 16 by 8 boxes palletized. Now, I know this is, um, we're generally not shipping truckloads of one item or one box, but it helps simplify to show how much more efficient the 40 inch box packs than the 44 and why we should move towards using the 40 inch box. Now, one truckload of the 40 inch solution boxes, you can put exactly and comfortably 33 of the 40 by 16 by 8 boxes on a pallet, 24 pallets on a trailer times 36 boxes times 2.96 cubes, which is the cube of that box, is 2,344 cubes. This truckload costs more than $11,251, but the key is that we just put anywhere from 141 to 288 more cubes on a trailer at a cost savings of $676 to uh, $1,382 in freight at $4.80 a cube. So you see um, the 44-inch the box 
uh, compared to the 40 inch box. If you, um, if you put 28 on a pallet of the 40 inch box, you're going to get 120 more boxes of the 40 inch box on that trailer. And if you floor stack and put uh, 30 in a pallet space on of the 44 inch box, you're going to get 72 more boxes on the trailer using the 40 inch box than you are going to in using the 44. So, um, is this important? Well, obviously, we all know that the more flowers we put on a trailer in a less space, and keep in mind that when you test pack, you're most likely going to find that the 40 inch box packs just as efficiently and you're getting more on a trailer than you are on the 44 inch box. So it's a, a key metric that we need to, as an industry, move away from using the 44 inch box. To date, I have not had anyone uh, inform me that well, my flowers just won't fit in one of those boxes. And I, and I agree, there are some exceptions, plants, gerbera, bales, but I'm convinced that if we work at it, we're going to come to where even those can be standardized as well and fit more uniformly on a trailer. Whether we use ship flowers on a pallet or we stack them, the more uniform they are, the more efficiently they're going to fit on a trailer. Well, there's a little bit more this year to, to tell as well. And that is that uh, NorCal is, has been working with Robert Mann and we are working on a, uh, a logo, a pallet friendly or solution box uh, logo. And so we have a couple of mock-ups of those that we're working with. And uh, tomorrow at the board meeting we'll, we'll talk about that with the board. But as, and we're also working on a new um, California box that would meet size, um, so it'd have a logo on it and it would meet the size standards of the standardization it also would meet strength, um, so we're working with them as well and adopting um, standards that are used by companies that are already using these uh, standardized boxes. And uh, so that logo will simply mean that box adheres to those strength and size uh, characteristics of the standardization. Um, to summarize, the California flower industry is making headway in adopting standardized boxes. Generally, the most untraditional 40-inch solution boxes are increasing at a rate so far of about one-third of the more traditional 44-inch boxes due to increased efficiency in packing and space utilization on trailers. About 90% of the time, 40-inch boxes pack as efficiently or better than their 40-inch counterparts. Trailer efficiency is at least 10% more efficient saving hundreds of dollars in shipping costs. Test packing by growers and shippers reveals this daily. The same efficiencies are realized when we move away from the hundreds of box sizes currently in use to a much smaller group of standardized boxes. Today we have seen proof of this standardization initiative. Last year, we ended the NorCal box standardization study with a quote from Bob Wilkins of Delaware Valley Wholesale Florist and this year we'll do the same, because it's still very applicable. Bob said, we all may be on a path to have California flowers shipped in a box, a standard matrix, which will in the end lower the cost per stem and bunch to the customer of California flowers. It is really the responsibility of the growers and shippers, those of us in this room and uh, those uh, around the state, to be a part of this program. Is, it is not enough to just sell the flowers and pack the boxes and let others worry about how to lower the cost of goods sold in regard to efficient uh, logistics systems. We are all in the flower business and need to support each other. Today, I, we hope that we have demonstrated the fact that the grower and shipper community is adopting box standardization to help lower the cost of goods so that we are shipping more California flowers to their destination, fresher and faster. That is the NorCal model.